Three, two, one. Asha! I'm here, I'm here. Whew, just uh, one second. Let me catch my breath. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're discussing how Wish ties into the larger Disney universe. Since we'll be providing a deep dive into the film, expect a few spoilers. I have a few thousand questions, starting with how is any of this possible? Wish marks Disney's 62nd animated feature. More significantly, it coincides with Disney's 100th anniversary, containing a century's worth of references and iconic symbols. Last night, I made a wish on a star. Uh, <laughs> and the star answered. With an art style that blends the warm watercolors of yesteryear with cutting-edge computer technology, the film truly feels like a culmination of Disney animation, bringing the studio's journey full circle. But what if Wish is actually at the root of its predecessors? We pinned a still from every single one of the movies we've done on a board. You could see the breadth of all the Disney animated features. Okay, Wish might not take place before Dinosaur or Fantasia's Rite of Spring sequence, but its themes and motifs align with the fairy tales that Disney's best known for. Wish could be seen as an origin story for all of these classic hallmarks placing it near the beginning of a shared Disney universe. And our story begins on that most joyful day. On that joyful day, on that joyful day. Encompassing the same aspect ratio as Sleeping Beauty, Wish is nostalgia overload from the opening scene as we zoom in on a familiar font against a storybook. The ensuing tale includes nods to everything from Mary Poppins to the Disney Channel mouse ear logo. Welcome to Rosas, come on, come this way, where the greatest creations are all on display. Some in-jokes are more deep cut than others. A group of Fantasia-esque mushrooms mimic Prince Hans when they say that they love crazy, while the villainous King Magnifico channels Ursula when he cackles so much for true love. Protagonist Asha pays homage to several other Disney heroines. Like Snow White, Asha has a way with animals, hangs out around wishing wells, and even has seven friends who range from sleepy to grumpy. It's us and the strength we found, it's too bad. Ah. Asha is just as much in the spirit of more modern heroines like Belle, longing for more as she sings her heart out and blows dandelion puffs into the wind. Unlike most other Disney heroines, Asha isn't a princess, although she could join the official lineup alongside Mulan. Is she allowed to do that? In the confines of the story, Asha doesn't become a member of royalty, but she eyes the position of Sorcerer's Apprentice. The dynamic between Asha and Magnifico is similar to Yen Sid and Mickey, albeit in reverse. In that incarnation, the Apprentice plays with magic that they don't entirely understand, forcing the Sorcerer to step in. In Wish, Magnifico embraces dark magic, requiring Asha to save the day with bravery, the truth, and unselfishness. You mean we take them back ourselves? <laughs> but if we take them, isn't that stealing? I mean, we can't Right. They don't belong to him, do they? Asha is rewarded with a magic wand, being deemed the Kingdom of Rosa's fairy godmother. Although Asha now possesses a wand, she doesn't simply grant everybody's wishes. I'm sure there will be challenges that find me, but I can take them on one at a time. It's implied that she'll use her magic to help push people in the right direction, allowing them to make their wishes a reality. You could argue that Cinderella's fairy godmother took a similar approach. It's like a dream, a wonderful dream come true. Yes, my child. But like all dreams, well, I'm afraid this can't last forever. Yes, she used magic to send Cinderella to the ball, but after midnight, it was up to our heroine to pursue what she wanted. Perhaps Asha is the forerunner in what will ultimately be a long line of fairy godmothers, as well as other wand wielders such as Merlin, Sleeping Beauty's Three Fairies, and even the Blue Fairy. Well, we'll see. You mean maybe it will? I shouldn't wonder. Where Asha is promoted to fairy godmother, Magnifico is demoted to prisoner. The fallen king becomes trapped inside a mirror attached to his staff. And all I really want is just a little respect. And this is the thanks I get. It's a clear homage to the magic mirror from Snow White, but maybe Magnifico's fate runs deeper than we think. What if Magnifico's humanity continues to deteriorate inside the mirror, eventually becoming nothing but a disembodied head? 
Somewhere down the line, Snow White's stepmother found Magnifico's mirror, making him her servant. Through wind and darkness, I summon thee. Speak. Let me see thy face. What wouldst thou know, my queen? You have to admit Magnifico and the Queen's magic mirror possess a similar green glow. They also have links to poisoned apples. As for what happens to the staff, we wouldn't be surprised if it fell into the hands of Maleficent, who shares a few visual motifs with Magnifico. Why some melancholy? A wondrous future lies before you. When people theorize about the possibility of a shared Disney universe, animals present an inconsistency with some able to talk and others being silent, which potentially provides an explanation. Sona! See, we were all just little nebulae in a nursery from supernovas, now we've grown into our history. In the beginning, Asha's pet goat Valentino and Rosas's woodland critters lack the ability to speak. Once the magical star sprinkles some of its golden dust, Valentino sounds more like Alan Tudyk. Oh, something's happened. I'm talking! I am talking! Ah, who knew my voice would be this low? In addition to the other animals, Star gives sentient life to the kingdom's flowers and trees. It's possible that all talking animals and plants in the Disney canon cross paths with the same stardust. Oh, goddess, that tree is talking to me. Then you should talk back. Don't be frightened, young man. My bark is worse than my bite. Meanwhile, the silent ones are still wishing upon a star. By the way, did you spot Thumper, Bambi, and Little John among Rosas' animal population? And you? Who might you be, sir? I am Sir Reginald, Duke of Chutney. And don't stick your tongue out at me, kid. Wish may also secretly be an origin story for a certain boy who never grows up. Magnifico cheekily alludes to Neverland while crushing people's wishes. Can't you just give them back instead? Excuse me? The wishes you're not going to grant, you could just give them back. One of Rosas' residents wishes to fly through the air. While she doesn't get this precise wish, she is encouraged to work on a flying machine with a man named Peter, who's draped in green. This Peter is too old to be the pan. However, what if the development of this flying machine sparks a romance between these two? Maybe they have a son who's equally fascinated by flight, except his wish literally comes true. Watch me now, here I go. It's easier than pie. He can fly! He can fly! Star's Stardust isn't that far off from Tinkerbell's Pixie Dust. Throw in a bit of faith and trust, and Peter is destined for the second star to the right. Here we go! <laughs> off to Neverland! Whether or not Wish sets up the events of Peter Pan, Disney has promoted the film as an origin story for the wishing star. Does that mean Star is the same star from Pinocchio and the Princess and the Frog? Okay, you can't be. <laughs> I mean, I know I wished on a, but <laughs> no. There are too many inconsistencies for that theory to really add up, but Star could be one of several wishing stars that populate the sky. While each of these stars has magical properties, none of them instantly fulfill the protagonist's innermost desires. You know what I wished? I wished that my little Pinocchio might be a real boy. Wouldn't that be nice? In Pinocchio, Geppetto's wish materializes into the Blue Fairy, giving the wooden puppet life. Yet Pinocchio himself must prove himself worthy of being a real boy for the wish to be realized. Tiana turns to the Evening Star, but as her father told her, that's just one step in achieving a dream. That old star can only take you part of the way. You gotta help it along with some hard work of your own, and, and then, yeah, you can do anything you set your mind to. Wish elaborates on this idea. Although Star comes to Asha during her hour of need, it isn't a genie. Star serves more as a guiding light, helping Asha summon the strength to make her dream a reality. Wait, wait, slow down, we need a plan! Asha aspires to realize all of the wishes that Magnifico has taken from others. By returning those wishes, the people of Rosas are free to chase after them. You make it so they forget the most beautiful part of themselves. And they don't know what they're missing. But you do. And now I do. Not all of those wishes are guaranteed to come true, but they'll still remain an important part of every person. A lot of hard work goes into realizing any dream. If your heart is in that dream, though, no request is too extreme. Like a bolt out of the blue, fate may step in and see you through. So I make this wish to have something more for us than this. Before we continue,
continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. This leads to the film's post credit scene where Asha's 100-year-old grandfather Sabino fulfills his dream, writing a song that will inspire future generations. The tune is, of course, When You Wish Upon a Star. this was gonna happen. Wish gets to the heart of what the Disney anthem is truly about. Merely wishing is never enough, yet every Disney hero's journey starts with a wish. When you wish <laughs> <and> <laughs> dreamers do. Whether it's to answer the ocean's call or to be part of the human world, a wish gives them the spark needed to keep moving forward. Otherwise, you're just waiting for your life to begin. It's safe to assume that Sabino's song didn't just inspire Rosas' future generations. It extended beyond the sea, with the likes of Jiminy Cricket spreading the message around the world. When you wish Whether or not there is actually a Disney universe, this film embodies what bonds every Disney hero with an I Want song in their heart, the wishes that encourage them to reach for the stars. What did you think of Wish? Did you catch any ties to other Disney movies? Share your thoughts in the comments. You don't have to look too hard, it's all around you not too far, if you try to figure out just who you are. Your star. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.